You have entered the Chronic's rabbit hole and Nightwish Army. We are reacting to Nightwish making the album Endless Forms Most Beautiful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Enter the Chronicness. We're gonna start with the first two episodes. Here we go. Very excited for this. Let's throw on the headphones. Don't forget your headphones. Almost did. Here we go. We appreciate you all, Nightwish Army. Ooh. Birdie. The snow. Episode one, the cabin. Seven months after the tour had ended, it was time to get back to work again. The band headed to Finland's beautiful wilds to plan their upcoming album. The band had rented sumptuous quarters, and everything was ready for a happy reunion. Except that nobody had remembered to bring the cabin key. <laughs> no! <laughs> After lengthy negotiations, the spare key was found, and things could get rolling. <clears throat> lengthy negotiations. Where's the keys? You got it! I knew the key? I knew the key. Oh, you do have the key. <laughs> I have no idea where we are. It's, there's snow everywhere, and it's freezing, but... As for that, we could be anywhere. I don't know. How does, how does it look? It looks great. Moving in with 12, 13, with how many are we? Yeah, 11 Finns and a, and a Brit. Yes. Yes, here we are. <laughs> yes, right. we expect to get our expedition later on. Find the pearl. Find the source of the North Pearl. Yes. That's my opinion. <laughs> Four weeks. <laughs> What a view! Yeah, what a view. We get a lot of snow where we're from, y'all. I was thinking it looks like Planning Canada. Planning the album demands a lot of work. Guitar space, these keyboards and vocals there. And uh, pipes as well. Right. And the pipes. That's, <clears throat> and we have a month and a half to do that. And then the first show after that is the 5th of June. The sound technicians joined the band around the long table. In addition to the recordings, the topics included touring, promotion, photo shoots, and everything else relevant to the album. Nice. Planning a release is meticulous work, and everybody's input is needed. <laughs> but this is how it begins. The wheels are in motion, and the hard work on the upcoming Nightwish album will continue in the next diary clip. Okay. Siitä hetkestä, kun on biisiä tekemään, mulla on tarina päässä, niin kuin tuo, laulumelodiat, Florin, Markon ja Troin äänet on ollut pääsisällä koko ajan. Kyllä mulla on hyvin selkeä näkemys, miltä ne biisit tällä hetkellä tulisi kuulostaa. Totta kai ne muuttuu vielä hirveästi, kun ö, niitä treenataan ja sovitetaan bändin kanssa. Ne on syytäkin muuttuu, mutta mulla itsellä on tällä hetkellä hyvin selkeä kuva jo kaikista biisistä. Oh, very cool. I'm very excited about so this. Cool. So that was the first episode. Um, I, I just love their dynamic all together when they're a band. And it's just so cool. I always wanted to have that experience of going to like a, a cabin with a band and creating mm -hmm. music there. And like that experience just seems so cool. And it's just awesome that you get to see the behind scenes because that's something as me as a musician and someone that loves music, I've always wanted to do that. I love that they couldn't find the key. And that. That is such, oh no. <laughs> Here we go, we're good. His phone. <laughs> um. <laughs> the fact that they had 11 people in the middle of nowhere in the snow and couldn't find the key that's just so iconic it is any situation where you're going somewhere to like 
Get something done. Get something done. <laughs> and something always happens. <laughs> and then I love when they like um they're all in that round table or like their table there and they're like we need everyone's input from the band and then it zooms into Empu's nose. <laughs> <laughs> Good input. Here we go. Episode two, yo. By the lake. Cabin by the lake. Isn't that a horror film? I think so, something like that. Ten weeks after the first meeting, not only had the snows melted in Finland, but the new songs had also Ooh. received their initial demo form. The recordings took place in a small cabin in the middle of the woods where metallic chords found their form and notes fell in sequence. Ola Hattulassa. Täällä on tällainen tällaisella syrjäisellä metsäisellä seudulla tällainen tällainen mökki, missä me ollaan oltu nyt Tero ja Tuomas varmaan useammankin päivän me tässä pari päivää pikkasen tuoda sitä demon rakentelua ensi kesän mittavia bänditreenejä ja albumin nautosta varten. Eli tuo on niin kuin kakkosen. Hienoa. Sitten on kopsumatsku tuo viimeinen kolmannes. Se on ihan oh, täsmälleen sama, mikä on tuossa ensimmäisessä. Tämä on nyt on kolmas kerta, kun me suositaan tällaista eräkämppämajoitusta demottamiseen. Ja ollaan todettu se erittäin toimivaksi ratkaisuksi. Saa olla omassa rauhassa, luonnon rauhassa. Pystyy keskittyä ihan 27 siihen, mitä tekee. Studio-olosuhteessakin on toki puolessa, yeah. mutta tämä jotenkin vaan toimii meille. At this point, <laughs> only the writers themselves had heard the songs. Instrumentation, melodies and arrangements were presented to the rest of the band, with samplers and just a few instruments. It's a totally different thing for them, because we don't hear the bass in a different way. We don't hear how the melodies go, the stories of the bass, the lyrics, the general feeling, which nobody else can see at this point in this moment. Ahmotta. Niin siellä on matskoja, joka kuulostaa jo nyt heti suoraan hemmeti hyvältä ja sitten on vielä sellaista matskoa, josta selvästi huomaa, että tämä kaipaa viimeistelyä ja pitäisi kuulla niin kuin laulumelodiat ihan laulettuina ja muuta ja tekstit, että ymmärtää kaikki asiayhteydet tälleen näin. Mutta niin tässä tilanteessa sitä on oltu ennenkin, että niin loppupeleissä luotto on kova. Et siinä vaiheessa, kun ne kasataan finaaliin saakka, niin kyllä sieltä niin kuin teemme. Alkemistit ja shaisse muuttuu kullaksi. They will turn to gold. Siitä hetkestä, kun kään biisiä tekemään, mulla on tarina päässä. Niin, tota, laulumelodiat, Florin, Markon ja Troin äänet on ollut pääsisällä koko ajan. Kyllä mulla on hyvin selkeä näkemys, miltä ne biisit tällä hetkellä tulisi kuulostaa. Totta kai ne muuttuu vielä hirveästi, kun ö, niitä treenataan ja sovitetaan bändin kanssa. Ne on syytäkin muuttu, mutta mulla itellä on tällä hetkellä hyvin selkeä kuva jo kaikista biisistä. Although the process is both passionate and rigorous, nobody cares to work all the time. What else can you do in a small cabin in the woods then? Se on vähän niinku tällaista niinku just parailla näkyy, että kahvistelua ja höyryttelyä ja sitä aina välillä tehdään jotain, joka toivottavasti hey. järkevää. <laughs> Katsotaan lähtöä ja saunota ja istutaan paljus. It seems the album is progressing smoothly. Or what do the culprits think themselves? It's a piece that I heard yesterday when I listened to those 12 songs. It's a very optimistic feeling. The rhythm is in a good way. And the trust has been there for a long time. When you put this song in the house, when you put it in the house, when you put it in the house, the results have been very good. Että, ja mulla on sellainen kutku niin kuin tässä, että oma kiinto on kova, kun on taas niin kuin vähän niin kuin uutta verta niin sanoakseni, mm -hmm. niin, niin sen mä oon haistanut, että kaikilla muillakin on se sama juttu. 
No kidding. So the adventure continues. Some new tires. Stay tuned for the next episode. All right. Nämä viimeiset kuukaudet, jopa vuodet, on ollut jotenkin tosi hedelmällistä aikaa, että ei ole tullut sellaista blokkia. Että on ollut Roope Ankkaa, on ollut tätä tulevaa Nightwishia ja on ollut sitä hyvän epäväisyysbiisin lohtua. Ja kaikki jotenkin tullut aika vaivattomasti. Tällä hetkellä on kyllä takki ihan tyhjä. Tää... <laughs> Se on reilu kuukausi, kun sain tuon viimeisen biisin tehtyä, niin oli vähän semmoinen olo, että nyt ei tarvitse muutaman kuukauden harrastaa tätä biisin kirjoitusta. Right. Okay, y'all. So that was episode two. We will write down when we finish so we know exactly where to start moving forward. Okay, Nightwish Army, that was Nightwish making the album and this for most beautiful episode one and two, and it was thoroughly enjoyable. We're looking forward to see how they make this, and Tuomas is just insane to know that he just already has everything envisioned, and it's just ready to come out, and he's just trying to get it to everyone correctly so they know what his full final vision is, and I'm sure everyone does have their input. I do understand that, but... I just love to see who, like, not the mastermind, but where a lot of the direction does come from. And um, you can tell that he has a lot, a lot of input. And this uh, documentary is showing a lot of him, which I'm very happy about because I was hoping this documentary would focus on him a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was really cool to see how when he's presenting the music, he's actually kind of one-on-one with each person of the band yeah maybe like this is the baseline i need you to do this rift i need you to do it like this and you repeat it the first time the third time records it into the system mm -hmm. and then is arranging it yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah and then playing all the individual recorded parts back yeah as a sample piece for them to hear, hear as a full and see how it all works together yeah because <clears throat> that's just a really um smart way to do it it is um, because then he can kind of hear his own bits and because it's individual recordings, he can make those changes as he needs or as his, um, imagination either progresses with something or maybe something that he had in his mind, as he said, like things will change as he works with people. Of course, people, he twisted as you go, he right? as it goes. So yeah. like, that's just, I love seeing how his brain works and how he has yeah. that sectioned. Me too. So I'm very excited to see the rest of this, uh, full playlist. And if you guys are excited to see the rest of this playlist, let us know, please. And awesome. thank you. God bless y'all. Thank you so much. Bye for now, guys. Peace and love. Special shout out to our Patreon supporters. We appreciate you so much. <laughs> Does anyone else show love by taking your earwax from your head and putting it... On your beard. <laughs> oh, that's true love. Here we go. We're